Hi guys and happy Saturday. I hope you're having a beautiful Saturday. It is a beautiful Saturday here in the Northeast. It is over 70 degrees and whereas I wanted to start raking, I didn't. <laughs> because what I did was I went to the thrift real quick and I cooked for you guys and I'm going to cook with you in a little while. I'll show you how to make bangers and mash. Uh, traditional Irish fare for the upcoming um, uh, St. Patrick's Day. So it'll be very fun. So the thrift was fun and actually last night I did forget to show you one thing that I picked up in the thrift last week and that was this little guy. I got one of these puppets before uh, but I got the one with all the crazy kabuki makeup and I loved it so much but I found this one still in his package right still in his package all in Chinese and his price was 300 yen right on the uh, right on the sticker there isn't that fun I thought that was great and he's got little feet but he is a puppet he's got the fan he's got the hand tells you who he is back here Shang very 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 awesome um, today I found some really really fun things I found this hat for the um, plague doctor here my buddy today the plague doctor figured this is a good time to call on him right and uh, this hat is a uh, had the price tag still on $48 I got it for $2.99 and it is a perfect Plague Doctor hat for him. And uh, he looks great in it. Um, I got that today. And I got a really cool glass cutting board um, that looks like a tomato. And it's right here. And I got a very heavy duty outdoor solar spotlight, which I have um, blazing in the sun blazing on right now to see if it works uh, later on tonight. And I have it shining right on the green lantern. So that's right here. That was a fun find. Uh, it looks like a very heavy duty one, so I was happy about it. And then, while I was there, they rolled out a cart of brand new Justin CDs. And wow, what I found, what I found. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh my God. I'm going to save the best for last because I'm so excited about it that I can't even believe it. So today we're drinking a Mexican Pale Ale. This is by Dos Equis. And this one is brewed with um, a hint of heat. So there's a little bit of spice in this one and I really like it. Very much uh, a warm weather beer. All right, what I got in the thrift, CD wise, is Nine Inch Nails, um, Fixed, So, I don't know, remember a lot of Nine Inch Nails came in uh, once before, now a couple more did, so that's fixed. This one is Nine Inch Nails Broken, very, very fun. I got a Robert Johnson, which is very cool. This is Robert Johnson, kind of the, wow. Something of the blue, something, something blues, whatever. It's Robert Johnson, and it's a beautiful thing. I never pass up Johnson. I got Demon Speed, Swing is Hell. Very, very cool. I got The Cure. Uh, you know what, guys? These aren't reading glasses, and I can't read it, but if you'll recognize the cover. <laughs> I'm so blind. And this, oh my God, it's the Misfits, okay? It is the Misfits. But what's so exciting about this one is it is autographed by all the Misfits right here. 
all the Misfits signed this, some in regular pen, some in Sharpie. That is amazing. And why, why did the person put, give this up to the thrift instead of selling it? Are they crazy? You know, it's funny though. The Misfits have signed so many things. They've signed so many things. If you look on eBay, you'll see how many autographed things there are from the Misfits because they always loved their fans and they always took the time to sign things. But this is signed. I find a lot of signed things in the thrift, you know? Like the other day I found, of course I didn't buy it because I, I can't, I cannot under any circumstances tolerate this woman's voice. But there was a signed Celine Dion CD. That was pretty funny. Um, but to find autographed things, and usually you find the autographs of the cruise ship bands or the lounge bands. You don't find, um, you know, things that you really, really would be excited about, like the Misfits. And that was so fun. So fun. So that was a very cool find. So I'm glad I went back today because I was just going to pop in and pop out. But when they rolled out that cart of um, new CDs that had hadn't been touched before I was so excited and everyone in the thrift today was either old you know really old you know older than me and uh, foreign so nobody would give a crap about these CDs and nobody was looking at CDs at all so um, I lucked out nobody like shoved me aside to get to them first or anything so I was pretty happy so anyway guys just a quick shout um to tell you i am gonna eat, I either cooked for you already or i'm cooking for you after this i don't know which uh which is going to come first the chicken or the egg but um definitely going to show you how to make bangers and mash very easy dish very traditionally irish and uh very very yummy i'm going to show you the easy way too using jarred uh, onion gravy, which we doctor up to taste more like the authentic, slow-cooked Irish onion gravy. So, and there's a little secret ingredient that makes it really, really pop um, and taste most like the Irish um, banger, uh, the Irish onion gravy that I am used to from the pubs in uh, Pearl River. So anyway, guys, that is it. I just wanted to come in and give you a quick chat, quick shout for the weekend, introduce you to the plague doctor here, who uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of in the next couple of weeks. And I uh, hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. Comment, subscribe, spread the love. I will talk to you all very, very soon. I love you all. Mwah.